Howdy folks, I'm Zero Four, and I'm just gonna do a quick mousetrap comparison video because the one, actually this will be the main product in the um, video, it's the Ness Snap-E or Snappy mousetrap. Um, basically I wanted something a little more reusable and something uh, that was easier to set. So I went on this hunt and this is the one that I ended up with. As you know, the standard board ones, snap style traps, look like this. Um, there's two different types of triggers these days. The, the one thing that I don't like about this style is it doesn't seem as sensitive um, when you were to compare the two. When you were to compare the two um, styles. This has a bigger trigger it's a bigger, I guess, uh, piece of plastic, but if I were to set this and show you the sensitivity, excuse my hand, but it's the only way to be able to do it, ow, just like that, a blunder, hopefully this one will set, no problem. If not, it hurts like hell. All right, so that's set. Right now, that um, metal bar is kind of tweaked now just because of the amount of usage it's been getting from the mice. So let's go find something to set the trigger off. And you'll see in terms of sensitivity what it's like. Hopefully nothing breaks. So, barely any type of force sets it. And then, on these, the trigger mechanism, you have to depress inside this little tab. So I'll show you from the top. And everyone knows how to set a mousetrap, right? So this one, I'll show you where it requires a little bit more, but it's still pretty good. But I don't, just because I think the size of the paddle makes the huge difference though. So, there's that one. I mean, it requires the same amount of force, but I think there's less of a chance that it'll go off. Here's that new Ness, K-N-E-S-S, -S, snappy mousetrap. Um, it's kind of a neat little design, so. Take a look, this lever moves. So when you're uh, removing the rodent, you don't ever have to touch this paddle, which is really annoying because you have to lift it in order to be able to remove the mouse. But on this version, you just have to lift this tab and it drops. It's awesome. Way more, um, I guess, in a sanitary situation, it's going to be a lot more safer. So, in the back, I don't know if you can see, um, let me grab a flashlight. That on. So on this, there's a little trigger back here. You just have to pull this bar down and it lifts the entire trap, push it down, it locks. But you have to make sure it locks inside the little groove. And then that's what you know sets it off. So a hairpin trigger. I mean, it's, but that's set. So I'll show you what it takes. Super sensitive. So I'd say compared to the three, this one is significantly more sensitive. This version right here. Um, and the cool thing, like I said, you don't have to touch the mouse when you're disposing. All you gotta do is hit this little trigger and drop it in and then reset it and you're good to go. It's got a nice um, spot for bait, huge recess, uh, circular you know, point so you can put a huge chunk of peanut butter in there and then you don't have to always rebait it because there's a bunch in there. So Hopefully that was a little more informative than the other video on this actual mousetrap because I could not see what was going on because it was what, like 
15 feet away. I mean, who sets the camera up that far? Um, durability, uh, time will tell. Um, it's made out of plastic, so I'm, I hope it's going to be a little bit stronger. The thing that I notice about these wooden ones, um, over time, these little metal, uh, I guess, U-shaped U nails start to give out. Plus, this bit bar will wear out. Um, the wood is also warping. You can tell it's not this, it's not nice and straight. So, I mean, from, from an economy economical standpoint, these things are cheaper, but I think they are designed not to last as long. So, these will be a little more expensive, but I think that the design is a little bit better. So, let's I guess we'll find out. Um, thanks for tuning in, guys.